Hi, this is Dave with True Cable, interrupting your day today to talk about service loops. So what's a service loop? Well, it's extra wire that's left at the end of your installation. Extra wire to be there in case service is needed in the future, or in case you mess up a termination and need to re-terminate, there's enough cable there for you to do that. And uh, the standard is to leave a certain amount on each end. That extra cable is usually coiled up into a little loop and stored, so service loop. How big of a service loop do you need? How much extra? Well, at the device end, where the plug is, leave about two feet, and that's the same in residential and commercial, about two feet at the device. In residential, usually on an interior wall anyway, the mounting system is open to the back, and so there's plenty of room back here to store a service loop after finishing with a plate, and leave about two feet at the device end, and that's the same for commercial and residential. At the service end, where you have your switch or your uh, router, and or patch panel, you'll want to leave about three feet. Now, in commercial, it's a little more involved. At the device end, everything is going to be in conduit. You need a two-gang box. The reason for that is the service loop has to be stored in this box. If you use a single-gang box, there's not enough room in the box to uh, coil it up without violating minimum bend radius. So use a two-gang box to hold that service loop, and then use uh, a single gang, what we call a mud ring. And that way, you present a single gang opening in the wall from a two-gang box. Now in commercial, at the other end, you're going to have a TR, a uh, telecommunications room. There will be a, a rack in there and probably ladder rack to route the cable into the rack. The standard is leave enough service loop to go from one corner to the opposite corner of the room, and then add the distance from the floor to the ceiling. Whatever that distance is, that's your service loop. They're usually coiled up and stored on top of the ladder rack, and since these are longer service loops, 20, sometimes 30 feet, they need to be stored in what we call a figure eight pattern. A figure eight pattern cuts down on electromagnetic interference. When you have a, a coil and it's long enough, and you have enough coils, then this constantly changing electromagnetic field is going to create electromagnetic interference. So I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel. Ringing the little bell will change your life. Please look at our other videos and happy networking.